poets are, are deep thinkers, often saying the things that we're afraid to say, saying the things that we need to hear. Canadian poet of honor, YWCA woman of distinction in the arts, playwright, monodramatist, arts educator, theater director, the list goes on and on, recently addressing the United Nations, but here with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Dibby Young and it's Africa. Podium. <laughs> the podium. The po I, I like. I like to be close. I really. Um, yeah. <laughs> I really enjoy being close. So I'm gonna. I. I see another mic here. Um, hello. I'm going to echo off my whole eight minutes. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, oh. Uncle Kwame, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. We grew up together. See, Adina, the tree. Oh, my goodness. Like, I, I come from these women. They're my sisters, and we, we literally, the whole bunch of us, Wayne and, and, and Randy and Raven and Quansita, and we, we grew, and, and Auntie, Auntie Zina, we grew up, we grew up in, in the kink. I'm so happy that that is the beginning of this little talk on Miaga Av with you, because... <laughs> Me eight minutes almost done. Me soon done, Lally. Me, me nah, nah, no more. Me eight minutes almost done. So don't make me take, out, take up the whole of me eight minutes and tell you a story. All right. So, so. <laughs> this is, for me, like looking at all these women, these black women. This is what, this is how I was raised in a Jamaica. Watching my grandmother, watching my mother, watching my aunties where storytelling is just a part of the fabric of life. You see me? You can't, if you can't tell a story, that is just because it comes naturally. You're telling stories 24-7. You know what I'm saying? You're telling stories in the house, in the kitchen. You tell story in the yard. You're telling story upon the street corner. You tell story at school. And essentially, that experience growing up like that taught me that storytelling is the nucleus of our humanity. You understand that? You can't get away from it. We are, we, are, we are all storytellers. We are all storytellers. And I think about the black women who have, who have influenced and inspired me. Tria, Adina, Wayne, my mother, of course, my grandmother, Ama Harris, Adrizina Mandela. When Lali asked me to talk about one or two women, I said, Lali, which one or two women? You know what I mean? We can't talk about one or two women. The woman when I sit on the road last week, I have to talk about her too. I don't understand which, which one or two women. I don't understand that. Which one do I talk about? You see me? I don't understand that. How many talk about one or two women? I want to talk about all of the women and them. All of the women and them. I want to talk about all of them. Right? So, <laughs> this is to say, every single one of us, every single one of us, going right back to the first woman where them say responsible for the whole of the face of the planet. And Africa she come from, she African. She African, she black. Yeah, she black. She black. She black. Yeah, she black. She black. Yeah, she black. Black woman. Black, black, black. Black. Black woman. Black. Black. 
black woman. Hey, black, I want them. She black. She black. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yes. Everybody, everybody have a black mother. Oh yes. Yeah, everybody. All the way. All the way. No worry here. It's all right. It's all right. You see me? It's so important. It's so important to acknowledge and recognize that because you can imagine if we allowed ourselves to really sit in that truth, then we could begin to understand and begin to question. But then how if all of we come from the same mother, we are treated with one another so? How that go? Right? If we trace it back and back and back and back and back and back, we're all under the same tree. Then these issues around racism and sexism and classism and ageism and ableism and homophobia and all of those things are really about our lack of self-knowledge. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know what we are. We don't know where we come from. We don't know what we are. We don't know. So... To wrap it up, I'm plan one big concert for you, I can't even do it. It's all right, I don't mind, I don't mind. I don't mind, I plan all kinds of things for me. I like to play a musical instrument, see there? I don't mind, it's okay. Anyways, anyways, them say, you see, when the story takes you, you have to listen to the story. I, I, I put on the ego and tell the story where you're supposed to tell. So, to wrap it up, to wrap it up, all right? To wrap it up. I want each of us here today to really consider what this mother principle means in our lives. So now me not just talk about the mother them you know, and the auntie them and the sister them and the grandmother them. Me not talk about the principle of mother love. You hear, you look at every spiritual tradition in other world, every religion in other world, and them talk about this kind of love we're grounded in our empathy, this kind of love we, we, we fight against discrimination, this kind of love we fight against bigotry. A mother love that, you know, my friend. A mother love that, you know. That is a whole, whole principle. So I really want each of us to think about what would it mean for me to embody the principle of mother love. The same principle where we make everybody go up there and talk about their mother. Because they might experience a thing where it's, it's a very special thing and it's not just about blood mothering. We not talk about, oh, somebody push out of the womb. All kind of, all kind of mothering. Everybody can mother. Everybody can mother. So we not just talk about gender. We are talk about a kind of love and a texture of love that is most exemplified. We can see it in mothering, but that, that is our birthright as a human species. You see me? We each have a responsibility to get in touch with that love. That is what these black women have taught me. That is what they continue to teach me. So me, I challenge each away. Each and every one of we right here, right now. When you feel yourself acting out that violence, that lack of empathy, that lack of self-knowledge, more you think to yourself, hmm, does this look like mother love? I don't know if this would be, I don't know if this would qualify as mother love. I don't know if the people them who did there the reference library would actually agree that this is mother love. I, I think I need to reconsider my actions. I, I really need to look inside myself, right? Because ultimately, the change that we are working so deeply for will only come when each of us recognize the responsibility we have to embody that kind of love. I want things for talk about people over there, so them wicked are wicked. Some people wicked do. But that's a one, that's a, that's a one thing. That's a one thing, right? That is one thing. I want thing to talk about the people that are wicked and then a whole other thing to recognize the wickedness inside it's, it's, it's hard, it's painful, it's hurtful. You know what I'm saying? But can you imagine, can you imagine the radical change that we would be able to do if we did that? If I did that, I know that I would make a better parent to Moon and Phoenix. If I did that, I know I would make a better mentor to the water theater artist. If I did that, I know I would become a better friend. It's a long road, but me up for the challenge because of some black woman raised me. Thank you. 